Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and non-binary. Welcome to this Roulette World Championship 2022 Group C match between Goulet, two-time GMT champion, and Blythe, the RR7 champion. This should be a good match. we got New York coming up first, picked by Goulet, so this should be pretty damn rapid, I'd have thought. Uh, following that with Marrakesh, chosen by Blythe, then a mystery third map. I'm joined for this match by Agent Mando. Mando, say hello to the people. Hello, the people. Good How is the people? <laughs> Who Prepare is the people? Yourself. We is the people. Who is? <laughs> we is the people. Do you want to read the spin out, my Nine, friend? Five, yeah, well timed. We have Athena Savalis, screwdriver, as the four, fired banker. Three. Okay. Nice and easy. Yeah, that should One. be pretty darn quick. Eliminate the uh, there's a screwdriver right at the bottom of the stairs where um, a lot of people get Mateo, the first point, isn't there? And Goulet's going to be looking on hit maps for the screwdriver. Ooh, this is going to cost him a lot of time because Blythe, look at this, it is straight in. I mean, we're not even 30 seconds into the spin and he's already 17 seconds into his run. So, yeah, he's he smashed into it very quickly i don't know if he got the first disc he did get the first disc i can see that in his inventory there and we've got no sound on blive's side which is ugh, disgraceful turn sound on people come on it doesn't cost that much this is the vault, 47. The nice to see the emp being used to get rid of the recording no trespassing required there grabs himself a can of dr pop Goulet, meanwhile, has now started. Gets the first backup data disc off of... Uh... Is it Perez? Uh, yeah, Matteo Perez. Matteo yeah, Perez. Uh, Fabian Mann, of course, the other one. That's right. Ooh. Nice knockouts from Goulet there. No head, no awkward head turn. Gets I was, himself the Yeah, I was back. really scared. For, I was really scared for a second, and I thought that the banker was going to, you know, during the, the knockout be turned, but... Look how quick Blythe is here as well. He's actually there. The other side of the door before Fabian gets out of the office, and that's pretty quick. Blythe looking good for this, I'd say, mate. We just to let yeah, go? screwdriver in hand. Yeah. Trunks right. are plenty. Now Loads of them. Data discs Only one disc the left. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. now crap this old building is he's, even got, he's even got a snail as a backup, yeah, just in case. He's obviously not going to need and it. And he's not even but... using the other trank. He's just, yeah, he's just newspaper matey. Screwdriver, uh, Athena, not sexy slang. Yeah, he can't <laughs> even be bothered to change into a bodyguard. I think he can. He, he should be able to make it out. Pretty, yeah, because he, yeah, as I say, because he's already got the second disc, it shouldn't matter. Um, yeah, pretty, secured. pretty quick. He's got nothing else much to say. Yeah. <laughs> it really isn't. That's, that's New York for you. And Goulet's just getting to the office now. Has both the discs, but it's a moot point because. 47 seconds and load isn't going to help. Not when Blythe stair slides like that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> okay, and there was we that, go. Is that two, minute, two minutes 30 in game time? Two minutes 30 in Not, game time. Oh, sorry, re, re, real time. Sorry, real, real time, time attack, which, yeah. Nearest damn it is to pretty, start. Yeah, I mean, not a million miles off the record. It, it was never going to beat the record just because of how insane that spin was. But mm. Yeah, I mean... If, if you can perform like that week in, week out, you know, on uh, on your New York spins. I mean, All yeah. Right. yeah, yeah okay. Three points, right? Yeah, point made. All right, I get you. I'm the same, brother. <laughs> I'm the exact same. <laughs> you well, know, I went back. through special special New York training school with Info, and I'm still garbage. <laughs> Info, of course, um, current or former record holder in New York? Score. Zero to two. Uh, current, yeah. Uh, like I said, I think it, it, well, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I know it was a, a security guard. Uh, I think there's only like one thing at this point that's really going to beat it, which is like I think he got security guard screwdriver, maybe or some some or scissors or something like that. I think he basically, or maybe even next now, but you basically just want like security guard pistol or something, right? I mean, yeah, and you you're banging straight through, aren't you? To be perfectly honest, yeah. Or but even just something you could have in your loadout already, you know, like a thrown whatever. I don't know. There's surely something I would imagine, but I mean, yeah. I mean, with the fact that we're having to talk about it like this proves how insane that record is. I mean, RTA. I'm actually going to go and find the exact uh, the number. 
I think it's like two fifteen or something. I think uh, yeah, I remember, two two fifteen. Yeah, yeah, I remember him for fun saying it was just tailor made. He already kind of had the loadout ready to go, and he was good to go. What the yeah, fuck it was, is Gula yeah. doing there? <laughs> yeah, it was it was uh, it was neck snapper security guard. So I mean, yeah, you basically already had to uh, to run into the room oh, to get, get the the exit card, right? So I mean, like, yeah. You, Got, I got you. Well, basically, it, it, you're, you're talking about say you're talking about saving like at most one or one or two seconds in the loadout. Sure, uh, I, I just realised what Gooey's maybe... doing. Actually, it's um, it's the, what threw me off. He's on light mode on Twitch, <laughs> oh, <laughs> putting up the stream gross. there, and it was an advert, a really weird Argentinian advert. I would never what ever see. So yeah, that just uh... yeah, he's uh, he's got your Twitch open there as well. I hope you know. No, no, he's he's not a stream on, sniper. He always has it open so he can come in and say hi. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, I'm sure he's got the yeah uh, the video on pause. No, it's like um, he it, it would have it muted as well because we would be able to hear it because we could hear me just now. So no, 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 Gule is beyond reproach. He he's... is a good boy. He's been <laughs> a good boy. He's a very good boy. But we're off to Marrakesh, and I find this kind of weird that Gule's only been here twice and lost both times. I don't think that's true. I I, I can't I can't. No, that's clearly not right. Gule must have been to Marrakesh more than twice and um, certainly would have won some. I would have thought... Um, maybe Especially that... considering what, one of these times was apparently in RRWC this year against uh, Ebra Mardi or whatever it is. I always forget how to say his name. Uh, Ebra Medi. Which would mean Ebra Medi, that's the one. I don't, I don't, I just said uh, it fast to make it, make it sound like I knew what I was on and, about. That's, uh, that's the other one was way. Roulette Rivals 7 against Osh. Huh. So before Rule at Ravel Seven, apparently never made his way to uh, to Marrakesh. He in must 40, have done in forty three games. He's only well forty three games with obviously two to three maps per per match. He's only been here twice, well, which that's, is that's genuinely absurd. insane. Yeah, that's genuinely insane. I find that hard to believe. I really, really do. Okay, yeah, well either way, for a season one map. I mean, yeah, yeah. season one and Goulet's been around a while. <laughs> yeah, the other, well, the only the only other map he's only been to twice is Dubai, which is reasonable one oh, yeah. because it's Dubai, Shit, and also it, it is obviously yeah. season three. Uh, yeah, yeah, because <laughs> it's a crap map. <laughs> but um, well, either way, we're well, we're in Marrakesh, and he's coming here for the quote unquote third time. And um, yeah, Blythe, though, six uh, six Dual times visited, five wins, seconds. one loss, so looking good. Nine. However, this Seven, particular spin, we six, have General Razor Zaydan, Injected four, Poison Elite Soldier, three, Klaus two, Hugo Strandberg, one, Sniper Rifle the as the cameraman. Well, I, are we going to see a very quick Razor? Because he can be gone within... Yeah, I mean, as you say, Razor's going to be dead within 30 seconds of these guys loading in the map, right? Could be, but then, you know, what's your approach for the cameraman? Because he does disappear inside the cafe, which can be a pain in the ass. Do you want to start as waiter? Get that done? You know, well, this is this is the uh, the roulette rival's uh, choice, isn't it? This is the, yeah, um... and Blythe, Blythe going for the elite soldier start. So, And it looks like Goulet is as well, actually. So, seems their minds are set. I mean, with how quick they'll be outside the school, I don't even know if the cameraman will have had time to, you know, even react. Do his camera. These guys are going to be, uh... yeah, these guys are going to be, <laughs> yeah, in and out of the school in under 60 seconds. Yeah, okay. Blythe has tranked the officer, poked now to the general, general and he's off, gone. 20 seconds, <laughs> Zaydan is dead. Yep, and uh, not going to do the... I'm going to go with Honeycomb. Honeycomb, why not? <laughs> yeah, I think it's Honeycomb. <laughs> I'm not going to so. bother with that, obviously, because the cameraman, uh, importantly, legal in the consulate, you can just run straight through the front doors. So, That's yeah, pretty general. pretty good disguise for consulate. Yeah. Goulet taking a different approach there. Gets the kill at 25 seconds rather than the 20 that Bly had. He, he 25 whole seconds. Yeah, he went around the houses for some reason. I don't know why. He's looking for his stash. Did he leave Salute, it? Soldier. Yes, he left yeah, it in the school. school gate. Yeah. School gate. Yeah, it's not one you see uh, often. Really? Yeah. Normally, you would. Why wouldn't you put it underground in the consulate car park? Yeah. And Which why is where ignoring Blythe... the cameraman? Yeah. He's yeah. He don't care about the cameraman. He he just wants the isolation. He does. 
Does he? Does he? Does now pick himself up the key card? Wanda. Yeah. Now where is his sniper rifle? That's what I'd like to know. I think it's on this floor. Like looking at his map, um, is it not in yeah. the? Well, thing saying right that there? is, he's going to come back through anyway, so there's no point carrying a briefcase yeah, around true. if you don't need to. Yeah, not like he's in a legal disguise right now or anything like that, you know. Yeah, true. Nothing crazy. Although saying that, I don't know if he has a pistol. He might be uh, planning to use the sniper for the uh, the body shot. I don't know if you've seen this new Marrakesh. I say new; it could be old. Uh, that you, you basically shoot one of the guards, and then they all panic, like from the entrance where you walk in, and they all panic and run over, and you can just or just walk straight through. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so it's it seems pretty strong. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, you know, I mean, Fair I'm sure enough. you could three shot or something like that. But yeah, just people. I suppose it depends on the sniper he's brought in. If he's brought a, a ghost variant in, I, I don't think you can body shot. I think it's a instant kill if memory serves. Yeah, you. Yeah, ghost is an instant kill no matter where you hit them on the body. Uh, you need some like the viper, but it does need to be from a distance. And uh, Goulet, uh, looking to try and find his way into the cat. Now, would he be able to just blast through the um, frisk point here as a soldier? Should be able to, I would have thought, wouldn't you? He's going to find out. Oh, no, he still actually... needs, no, still needs an invite. Yeah. Wow, that bodyguard think... is uh, a job's worth, but live here with the ISO on Klaus in the room. Lovely double audio lore there, the Hoover and the Wrench. One to get the copper in, the other to get Klaus in. Very nicely done. But yeah, Blythe, is he looking to blast open this door? Uh, sorry, Goulet, he does get the door open. He is in the cafe and he is trespassing because he's in the back there. I mean, he's, I'm he's... amazed that that works. The sniper shot from there, there's so many people around. There are, but... Uh, I guess most of them must be fake NPCs. Okay, he's not trespassing here, so that's fine, but he ne does need to get off the cameraman. Cameraman not in his spot. Is, is he, he just is in the wrong corner? Definitely not outside. No, he's in the wrong corner. No, he is there. Is he? Where the... The cameraman's still know. outside. Oh, I don't God, know where no. he... I've never actually... Oh, he is. Yeah, he's on his he's way in now. He's just walking in now. Thank you, Bloods. Honeycomb for Klaus, cherry blossom for Razor. Always good to know that sort of thing. I never remember. No, I would literally, next Marrakesh I cast, I will not remember that one, so. <laughs> But I appreciate it nevertheless, you know. Uh, yeah, he's going to use the telephone. He's going to use the telephone to lure him yeah. there. <laughs> That's the way to say it. If you can't remember which Pretty one much, it is, yeah. telephone. He's going to call the yeah. school. He's going to call the consulate. Yeah, so what is, what is Goulet working on now? Is he yeah, trying he's, to... he's trying to get the cameraman. He's having a bit of an issue. Get oh, yeah, oh, 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 oh. Sounded like a gun flash type of thing there, but Blythe is going to emetic device the cameraman. Does yeah, have it seems... a, yeah, it does have Strauss, uh, Klaus, Hugo Strandberg, isolated. Blythe, just leave her alone. Leave her alone, Blythe. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, please, please don't nudge that lady. Yeah, she is a pain in the ass. Yeah, she's literally one of the most annoying NPCs I've ever had the... Misfortune yeah. to run I was gonna into. Say, yeah. I was going to go with pleasure, but yeah, that's definitely not the right word. She is a real pain in the ass. She is indeed. Okay, Blythe has his cameraman, and look at this simultaneous cameraman grabs and Ghoulie gets a crime notice. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he's going to go on a rampage, Blythe, <laughs> with a massive lead here now. We are six minutes into the spin proper. Blythe is five minutes and ten seconds into his run. Now to locate Klaus is isolated. Yeah. And he can just he run straight go, through uh, the... Well, he's got to go through the consulate car park because he's got to pick up his sniper rifle. But yeah. once he gets through, he's, yeah, he's free and clear in there, basically. You can even go yeah, Well, that's, uh, as you say, I suppose he's not going to need the, uh, the the sniper shot anyway because he's probably just going to come back out this way with his sniper and just go through the bloody front door. We well, need to pick up the keys and go out the car. Yeah, I think he's already got the, uh, the consulate... Keys, I want to say they're called. I he's got, he's got the consulate key card, uh, but I'd be very surprised if he doesn't have the. Um, uh, 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 yeah, consulate car keys, if you will. Yeah. Although, how I do promise, they get out? I promise, no, no Gordy and I. There's no doors. Gordy and I are both English. I promise. We, we you know. <laughs> it's words definitely are, our first language. Yeah, words are our tool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. There is more than one tool in this operation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, you can see no trespassing for Blythe. Does bump the copper there just to give himself, I don't know, a little yeah, bit just, of a leeway. Safe, but... And there he goes. There's Klaus. Klaus is dead. Um, Not even going to hide the body? Don't need to hide I mean, the body. He doesn't need to, but... No. I, I know I've heard of wall hacks there, but I think that's probably more for loud it's, stuff it, rather than it's, uh, it's the other else. side. It's near the it's near the Hoover, but yeah, you can see ah. you can see the um, exit is opened up for him. He's taking a risk. Yeah, He's trying to take good. the quickest way out possible. He's actually going to blow shit up over in the corner there. Nope. Yeah, oh, he did blow it up. Yeah, but... he did blow it up. Yeah. We got no audio for Blythe, so that's a bugger. But Blythe is out and takes his own map pick. Yeah, six and more minutes. importantly, those lovely two points as well. Indeed, yeah, six minutes and 53 seconds for Blythe there. We've just ticked over eight minutes in spin time. So, yeah, very nicely done. And we have our mystery oh, third map, which is Dubai. Score zero yeah, we're just adding another one to the tally for Goulet so he can bring all of his maps up to minimum three played. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the odds are that we were just talking about this. Good. Genuinely, Gordy and I didn't know this third map because none of us could be bothered to check the match. Yeah, channel. we we uh, just couldn't, <laughs> and plus we didn't want to spoil it. We, you know, it was like Christmas. Yeah. It was like Christmas. But we are after Dubai. Any takeaways from Marrakesh there, uh, Mando? Uh, yeah, I mean, pretty unstoppable from Blythe. I think literally the only improvement he could have made would be to try and figure out a way to get the cameraman on the way there. But yeah. Clearly wasn't clearly wasn't needed. Uh, no, he, he wanted to make sure control, he wanted so. to make sure that early ISO didn't he? So that's that's fair. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the uh, mission briefing for Dubai, and we'll be back in just a second. Please work, please work. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth-generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking, and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Good evening and welcome back to this Roulette Rivals World Championship. 2022 match between Goulet and Blythe. We are now off to Dubai, which is the RNG pick for our boys. Blythe leading four points to zero. Uh, Goulet going to be uh, trying to get the last two points here uh, just so he doesn't go away with nothing. Well, the spin is here. Co-cast Amando, what do we got? Uh, we have a target, Carl Ingram, falling object as the kitchen staff. 
Uh, Mog Stuyvesant, Electrocution, Event Security. Uh, yeah. That's... Event Security start, I yeah. guess. Where's the falling object for uh, Ingram, then? I don't know that one. So I know of basically two, and neither of them are great. So either... You know where you have the the meeting room where he goes to like the top floor and oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah that yeah, whole yeah, mission yeah, yeah. story yeah of there's course. a big chandelier there but the one that people tend to do is just bring him all the way downstairs uh, and use a speaker near the like where the art crew start is oh, I've got you I know what you mean uh, yeah it's normally one of those two I don't think there's any other viable options one of them's a lot of dragging and the other one is. I think you can lock down. I think he will lock down there. Yeah, Blunts is saying people um, people uh, tend to lock him down, and he doesn't uh, he doesn't believe that people opt for the lockdown uh, for the long drag. Yeah, and I think uh, the drag is typically used just because you know it's gonna work. I guess. I suppose. If well, he like we... randomly decides to lock down at a different area, you'd be molding. So. So either way. Our boys have started. Blive opted to start as the kitchen staff and Goulet as security. Let me just uh, pull up a bit more game audio there. Again, like I say, Goulet's the only one with actual audio. So, uh, if yeah, you want to hear that, Blythe, what... then you might, you're going to have to go to his house. <laughs> I don't actually know how... So Blythe started event stuff and got the kitchen stuff real quick, but I don't know how that impacts uh, Ingram's timing, unless he does plan on just letting him get upstairs and using that chandelier. That might well be his choice here. Could well be, but you do have to get him moving to do that, and I don't think Ingram is moving just yet for Blythe, unless he starts going up here now. The uh, thing was, with the uh, electrocution for... Um, uh, for Stuyvesant, he does actually walk into a puddle uh, by what's it called, yeah. the sun or whatever it is. So, be interested. Goulet yeah, is cool. messing around with this uh, art, these art crew people here. Bloody hell! Ah, there, yeah. there. That's not the puddle I was thinking. Because he's caused no, that puddle I'm, by I'm, a I'm in now, water cooler. I'm wondering where Blythe is planning on. Taking him. Is he going to drag him all the way upstairs? I think Blythe might be just in for the world's longest drag session here, I think. And I do mean literally dragging. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he plans on doing actual drag. Uh, although I'm sure Blythe would make a lovely drag queen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to have a long, long drag down to the speaker and possibly a long drag back up to this. Uh, well, water he's literally cooler. going to it right yeah. now, that water he's cooler, yeah. To the world than you could <laughs> this could be two very long drags. I remember uh, I played it, I played against David Red Sox in a match, and um, um, Stuyvesant Electrocution as event security was one of the kills. And it was this big-ass puddle over here that um, David used that I was not aware of. Here you can see the shimmering water. And Stuyvesant yeah, just walked uh, straight into it. He just... Um, all David did was drop a drop a taser. Yeah, I think the only I think the only issue with that is that you have to uh, make sure no one else goes in that puddle because there is random civilians who will walk in there. But there are, but he as was, long as you time it right. It's, yeah, he knew his yeah. timing for that one. He knew the kill. So um, yeah, it's, it's perfectly doable from a distance. And, but yeah, Blythe... it's kind of tough. It's kind of kind of tough to commentate on Blythe's right now. There's there's not a whole lot going on for us. Well, to... he does have I the water cooler him. right next to him here. He can just ventilate that. Oh, gets himself a puddle. Oh, so Blythe, um, yeah. so, so again, we've seen so both our players now trying to place the, the micro, hell? which you can't do Yo. in a puddle. Just needs that event yes, security disguise to actually pop it, and he does have one just down here that he's knocked out. Lucy Phillips work could you can find him. There he is. Goulet with some Goulet great cinematics, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, getting the, getting the camera work out, yeah. Okay, Blythe has the first kill. Stuyvesant is down. He's been fried. Who's Goulet trying to get on the hook here? That is the art. Oh, he's... Oh, yeah, I thought he did it the other side of the door. He's uh, clearing this area for this falling object by the looks of things. Yeah, just needs the guards. There's two two security guards at the end, and yeah. no, no one else should come down yeah. here. I think he has a banana in his inventory. Nice. He could probably use the banana. Everyone's, okay, you know, cool. new favourite tool. 
now that we can uh, you can actually bring, bring it in, in with yeah. us as well. <laughs> yeah. Although, of course, um, you can uh, on Dubai. There is there's a couple about. I think um, the easiest one is in uh, the three. security room. There's three. There's, there's three. three on the okay. uh, three on the map. Yeah. yeah. Probably enough. Uh, the, the the mini comp that just happened was uh, to celebrate the new fourth banana. We had a contract that needed all four. Oh, did it? <laughs> it was. Uh, it's actually pretty fun to figure out. Like, yeah, that's good done. stuff. Okay, I like that. so the banana Gooley, Gooley has the electrocution kill. That one's done. Yeah, but... He now just needs to sort out Carl Ingram. And where is Carl? Blythe going for a long drag now. Well, he's almost there. He just needs to. He's got a distraction. Oh, took a second shot, which can be dodgy. Blythe needs to get under that speaker quickly and shoot the stanchion. Gets the kill. Yeah, that's good stuff. And he will be out in five minutes and 19 seconds. So Blythe with a sweep on Goulet, which um, is Enjoy no small ahead. potatoes. Very nicely yeah. done. Blythe, pretty, pretty unstoppable there, right? I mean, lots of dragging, but, Zero, you know. Six. It did look pretty I mean, damn good. Now, uh, Mando, you will know, is there a match going on currently that we hey, can, can you, go and raid? I, or, uh, I'm supposed to meet uh, I don't think, I think the next one is in 35 minutes. Uniform. So we've, That's not my problem. we've got time to go through the, uh, the brackets and such. I don't think there's another one on right now. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, well, Blythe takes this one 6-0. Let me just pop that music down a bit. As, as much of a banger as it is, it's still a bit bloody loud. Okay, this was a Group C match. We see Blythe, look at that. 100% record. Five wins, zero losses, zero ties. 22 points, so he has dropped at least one map along the way. <laughs> What's five times six, mate? 30, innit? Uh, 30, yeah, he's yeah, dropped, so he's, uh, eight he's dropped total points. Eight total points, so four maps he's dropped along the way. Uh, Blythe will be booted from the competition purely because of that. That's just disgraceful. Um, Ever ready there. Yeah, I, think, I, I think we've only got one player who's still on for a potential perfect, I think, which is Infra, I think. Ooh, nice. Yeah, exciting times. Isn't it just? Uh, Infra, of course, is in Group G. Uh but concentrating on group C right now, Blythe topping the table with his 22 points. Ebramedi, 21 points. Just behind, also played five matches. Z Rune, again, not a man to be messed with. Seven points, though. Uh, only off three games, but, you know, got some catching up to do there. Uh, Rommel of the Far East, six points in fourth. Rocky with five in fifth. Uh, Goulet, just the four points from his four matches in sixth place. Exotic Sigs uh, <laughs> with just the one point <laughs> after four matches. And Janowam, I assume, was booted, didn't uh, uh, did forfeited. Have to, yeah, they had uh, personal reasons and, uh, yeah, they had to leave, uh, unfortunately. Okay, so they left. They, they they weren't booted. They had to leave. Okay, fair mm, enough. Uh, that's, yeah. that's a different kettle of fish. Well, let's have a look at the upcoming matches. Yeah, um, as Agent Snell saying in the uh, chat there, what a that was a good, good match. Did enjoy it. Fair play to both boys. And okay, the next match we have coming up is some random person versus Red Fox. Uh, they'll be going to Whistleton and Haven. That is on in half an hour. Uh, we've got Blunts versus Soviet Duboff. That is on in an hour and a half. And then in two and a half hours, uh, we have... Oh, I thought there was a log jam later on. They must have uh, rejigged a few things. But we've got Pinuara yeah. versus Ashton. That's a 2300 CEST. And then in the small hours, in the small hours, if you're in Europe, we've got David Red Sox versus Rustle. That should be a good match. Uh, both these boys in my group and Group E, um, they are vying for top spots. So, um, yeah, that should, be a, that should be an absolute doozy. I'll be I'll be fast asleep. I'll have my nose up my ass by the time they start playing. Um, and tomorrow afternoon, fifteen hundred CET. Of course, the clocks go back tonight. Don't everybody forget that? Uh, spring forwards, fall back. But tonight, the clocks do indeed go back in Europe. So we'll be back on Greenwich Mean Time here in Blighty. Uh, T Nort versus Pinuar. That's at three o'clock tomorrow, Central European time. 
Rommel versus Z Room. That's at half past three. And then Frivolous versus Kenny Z at 1600 CET. And of course, if you want to see what matches are going on, what time they are in your local time zone, and who will be casting them, Hit Maps will have you covered. Mando, takeaways from that match, mate. Blythe is scary. That's pretty much the thing. I mean, I mean so fast. Not not much you can say, honestly, from uh, Goulet's side. I mean, he would have had to be on his absolute A game because, yeah, Blythe was just unreal. Uh, a lot of people would have struggled to beat Blythe today. Yeah, I, mean, I think you know, so. RR7 right. winner for a reason, right? I mean, the yeah, dude is he, uh, very see, insane. You see his work often as well in the daily spins, how he just sort of annihilates them. And he's, yeah, that was this is my yeah. first idea, and it was my first go. And it's like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's pretty much it's pretty much what we saw uh, on that Dubai as well. Honestly, like a lot of dragging. But I mean, I got the feeling that yeah, he knew what, what he wanted to do. But you know, the second he saw that spin, he he was quick pre-plan, and he was in. He, you know, he knew what he was doing. Sure. And yeah, that is. Yeah, I mean, you can't beat that on its day sometimes. True, and uh, I, I, can, I can never stress this enough because Goulet is one of my favourite Hitman players. Uh, he's he's one of the old school um, Hitman 2016 legend is the only way to put it. Uh, if you've never seen some of his Hitman 2016 runs, get on YouTube and uh, just treat yourself it because Hitman 2016 is a different beast. It's not uh, the mechanics are quite different to Hitman 3, and the restrictions that were imposed then, and the way this man just ploughed through them like i say do yourself a favor and go and have a look but we do have some breaking news jotes in the chat is telling us he'll be doing the next one in 30 minutes time he will be casting some random person versus red fox so yes good stuff sa jotes is the uh twitch channel that you should all be tuning into in about well i would say 25 minutes time because uh you don't want to miss his intro because the man has a lovely voice Agreed. That being said, Mando, thank you ever so much for joining me, mate. Yeah, pleasure, dude. Thanks for having me. Well, that's all right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is there someone on we can go and raid in the meantime? So we, um, you know, you've got a placeholder until you go back to go, go, uh, go home to Jotes, as it were. Uh, I can't see anybody playing Hitman that I follow. Anybody in the chat got anyone to recommend? Uh, Emma. Emma with her second raid of the day. Uh, Barb raided her earlier on, so let's go say hello to her. Be nice. She's a lovely woman. And uh, yeah, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed uh, that match. I know we did. And we'll see you all, well, quite soon. Have a good one. Bye bye. And we am out. Good stuff.